Hello and welcome to another Bleistift video. And today I want to show you a nice desk set I bought from E&M in German. They call themselves E&M Holzprodukte, so I'm gonna refer to them as E&M. And let's have a look. It's, by the way, it's not the first E&M product I have. Um, I have a nice pencil extender which I bought at Papier uh, Pfeiffer uh, a few years ago. Okay, there's some discoloration in the wood here in the walnut. And you know, normally I would say a oh, wood is a natural product, but this is, you know, it seems to be stained. It seems to have happened when the product was stained, but it's at the bottom. So that's not too bad. Also, uh, the different parts look slightly different, but they look beautiful, in in my opinion. Let me just put the packaging away. And yeah, you can arrange the products in different ways. So uh, you could you could have it this way on your desk, uh, and then yeah. Your pens go in here. Um, this is. This looks like I don't know whether you can see it. To me, it looks like the back of a fridge magnet. I want to have a look whether it's magnetic. Yeah, it's magnetic. Um, not sure how that helps. I'm sure there's a reason for it because it's quite common. Yeah, and then yeah, you can rearrange it in different ways. You could also do it like this. Yeah, so uh, really beautiful. It's a, this is the walnut version. It's also available in, in Sycamore. And I realized that, um, I saw on their webpage that it's nominated uh, for, a, for the German Sustainability Prize 2021 in the category design so yeah really beautiful and i went for the uh, for the walnut version the the sycamore version is is quite light colored really beautiful and since i ordered from them anyway i also ordered this holder yeah, to put a pen on your keychain I think I've also seen a version with um, one of those rubber bits here so that you can use it on a mobile device. But as I've shown in one of my previous videos, you normally need more force. Um, this is quite good looking and it reminds me of traditional um, pencil caps. Like here, here's one from A.W. Faber. Hope you can see it. Yeah. So, yeah. similar air mechanism. So it's it's not quite like the like the perfect pencil because it doesn't come with a sharpener. Yeah. yeah you, you you lock it in by sliding this down. Well, you know, I can pull the pencil out if I want to, but uh, there seems to be enough friction so that it should you shouldn't hopefully lose it um, without anyone pulling. But to be honest, if this was on a keychain, I think uh, there's a good chance you're gonna lose this pencil sooner or later. Let's see how other pencils fit in there. Yeah. Oh ho ho. Now, if I put a, in this case, a Castell 9000 in there, you need a lot of force to pull it out. So, yeah, it will work better with some pencils than with others. <clears throat> I ordered it straight from A&M. They also put this in, which is quite nice. You know, a, a token for a supermarket trolley made out of wood. Uh, looks, uh, looks laser cut, laser engraved. 
um, I've got have a nice, I have a nice um, coaster that is this laser cut. It's just in the other room. Uh, let me just get it. Yeah. So yeah, typical. You know, laser cut. It's quite brown on the side. Um, yeah, but nice idea. And they also sent a catalog. Yeah, let's make some space. Let's have a look at the catalog. Bilingual. German and English. So you can see their fountain pens. Obviously a lot of emphasis is on wood. Um, Online, the brand with the unfortunate name, Online Pen has a very similar uh, pen with with also this kind of soprano wood in in dark or whatever it is. Yeah. So some some nice products here. Okay, I think I got this plotter. I uh, bought it long ago. Didn't know it's from M and E and A and M, E and M. Or oh, there may be just many that look the same. Nice letter opener. This desk set looks nice. Here's the trio desk set I bought. This reminds me of something I did long ago on the block. Um here it is. And I did that so that if I have a pen, a fountain pen, it was when I when I used to do marking. You know, these days, obviously, marking assignments yeah, is all online. But back then, you know, you would still mark on paper, uh, unfortunate size, size. So, you know, if I would use a fountain pen uh, with a screw cap, I could just put it in here and I could just always lift it. Lift the pen out without having to unscrew, so it would hold. Yeah, it would. Um, it would hold the pen in in a nice position for me to keep working. So yeah, why did I mention it? This big dots organizer reminds me of that holder I made many many years ago. Okay, yo. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.